Nature provides us with a gene pool that's overflowing with different traits and processes. Genetic engineering gives scientists the power to pick and choose from that pool, then put the genes together to work when and where they want. There's a lot of this biodiversity out there. Mother Nature has already created uh, really very elegant tools and really elegant processes to already do what we're looking for. So why, why not tap into that? Not only can science tap into the power of the gene pool, the power can be maximized through genetic engineering. Genetic engineering changes or manipulates genes in order to achieve specific results. And there are many ways to engineer genetic material. Defective genes can be fixed, missing genes replaced, genes can be copied or cloned, and genes are mixed and matched through recombinant DNA technology. In recombinant DNA, you can think of it um, when you have a poster that you put together and you cut and paste little pictures onto the poster. If you just saw the pictures in the magazines that you took them from, they might not tell the story, but if you put them together on a poster a certain way, it tells you a story. Recombinant DNA is taking pieces of DNA and cutting and pasting it together with molecular enzymes that allow DNA molecules actually to be cut apart and then pasted back together in a particular sequence. That recombination ability leads to an incredible amount of new experiments that can lead to knowledge and insight about what the genes do and how they function. So let's say you have a fish that lives in extremely cold conditions. If you could find the genes that protect the fish from the cold, you could cut and paste them into the genetic code of a tomato plant. The fish genes are now functioning in the tomato plant, giving it the same protection from the cold they gave the fish. The possibilities of this technology are endless, and everyone from medicine to industry is scrambling to adopt it and adapt it to their specific needs.